Hi students, we have another video from my channel which is continuation of living world. Now here the diversity in the living world. Diversity in the living world. Here on the earth planet number of fauna and flora present the estimation of this number and number of these animals or the plants it's a little bit uh, difficult but here the rough estimation according to Robert May it's roughly 7 millions 7 millions of species are present on the earth its other estimation 1.7 to 1.8 millions of fauna and flora present on earth so here anyhow that arrangement of organisms in the proper way and the category of different species it's a very difficult task because of its uh, the aquatic ecosystem if you take it that the three fourth of land is covered by the ocean that's a depth also it's a 11 kilometer above that's the reason you can't find the all organisms properly and accurately but here that these all the undercomes the systematics we can try to classify and try to naming organisms that's the systematics Systematics is the word which derived from the Latin. So, systematics means proper arrangement of organisms. Proper arrangement of organisms in order. So, that's a known as the systematics. So, here Linnaeus, Corollas, Vaughan. Linnaeus considered as a father of taxonomy. Taxonomy deals with the characterization of the organisms and identification and classification and naming of animals. So here C. V. Linnaeus, Corollas von Linnaeus considered as a father of taxonomy. Here his publication Systema Naturae. Systema Naturae is the publication. In his publication, he has classified different organisms. So here, the classification of these animals in this means systematics consists of characterization, and classification, and identification. And nomenclature. These are the main points of presence in the taxonomy. So here, how to identify, how to classify, and how you are using that. So that we have a different systems are there in that Gosford Barking. Gosford Bahin first introduced the binomial nomenclature. Later, Linnaeus popularized the binomial nomenclature. Gosford Bahin introduced the first time now binomial nomenclature means what giving names to the organisms. Linnaeus he popularized the binomial nomenclature. According to binomial nomenclature, every organism should possess the two names. Okay, every organism should possess the two names. Here is the binomial B 
based on this every animal should have a two names two naming system here is the first name is called as a genus second name is called as a species or the specific epithet right every animal should have a two names one is the genus name other one is a species name so here these words actually these are from the latin correct and you should write in the italic italic words when you are writing these names genus should be starts with the capital letter species should be starts with the small letter for example here mangifera indica when you are typing it should be in the italic form while you are writing this should be capital letter and underlined separately mangifera indica indica is a starts with the i small letter that's the reason it's a species name is the genus name to avoid confusion among the people that every organism have a specific name that is a species species name of the epithet right and here have a genus so this should be it can avoid the confusion among the people the scientific names whereas the here for the animals that icbn international cow for botanical nomenclature for the plants icjn international code for zoological nomenclature icbn icjn jn when we give the names to the plants that icbn will be give the names to the plants and icjn according to their rules icjn international code for zoological nomenclature these will be take care of giving the names for plant and animals and moreover here mangifera indica saraca indica ajadirakta indica right triticum vulgari like that different different names are there ajadirakta indica is a name mangifera indica is a mango scientific name homo sapiens human being say human human being the scientific name and saraca indica that's the also plant right and moreover triticum vulgare that is the triticum mestivum wheat plant and moreover the pisum sativum that is the beans and varisa sativa that is the rice or the paddy so these scientific names are have a two names they should be write in the italic font and moreover the while you are writing should be underlined the separately so here the system binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature after characterization of the organism how to identify and give some characters because of these reasons we are putting into the different so what do you call phyla like that or the kingdom whatever it is and moreover the these nomenclature that scientist who for example mangifera indica lin means that end of this species you should use the scientist name those who are described are the discovered the species they are using the scientist name that is as the linnaeus l i n n mangifera indica lin homo sapiens and panthera leo and felis cat okay panthera tigris tiger like that animals which we are described who are described they have to denote with the their name in the last in such way you are classifying the animals and nomenclature is very very important for the to call the name okay to avoid the confusion if you are using the vernacular name or the local name you have might have a lot of confusion that's the reason icbn and icjn they are giving the names which is having the genus and species i hope you understood thank you